Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am gonna be sharing with you the wonders of super expensive foundation. We're gonna test it out. We're gonna wear it. I'm gonna do out and about close-ups uncomfortably so you can see my pores. I have never seen this in store, so it's new to me. This is the Sublimage Le Tint from Chanel. I used to be a Vita Lumiere Aqua Slave. I wore that foundation over and over and over and over and over to the point of boring myself. I was like, I need to spice it up and try a few new things. And then when I went and started my journey of testing out other foundations, I kind of forgot about Chanel altogether as far as face makeup because they do make some beautiful products. But this is kind of crazy because it is $135 but it does come in a really beautiful gold box. It would seem like you get a lot of product in here because the box is pretty big and it actually feels quite heavy, but you get one ounce. This does have an ingredient in here that is a special form of vanilla planifola, which is a potent vanilla orchid. That's not really making a ton of sense to me and I don't really know what that does to your foundation or your skin, but it sounded really fancy and that was the one thing that I could find online about this product that made it like, ooh. I am curious to see how this feels on the skin, so we're going to crack into here without me just spending 20 years to get into the video like I always do. Also, I would like the ladies out there to let me know if you appreciate my t-shirt because James does not. And I recently came to the conclusion that if your boyfriend husband does not like what you're wearing, it probably means you're doing an excellent job and you are totally on trend. So do not fear. I'm actually gonna show you. It's so baggy and big that he's like, why are you wearing, oh, sorry, the mic was up there. He was like, why are you wearing a giant size t-shirt? And I'm like, it's in style. This is an extra small, leave me alone. So do you guys like the baggy t-shirts? I'm kind of into it because comfort. Oh, you also get a book in here if you need to read about your Chanel product. If that makes you feel better about spending $135 on one ounce of foundation, then you do get that. You also get a spatula, but folks do not throw this away. Oh no, because it has the Chanel logo, only the finest for this foundation. Um, it's plastic. Oh, you get a brush with it? I didn't know that. That's so soft. Okay, so you do get a brush with this product. Um, you do get this in a beautiful jar. It does look really, really pretty. I know this will probably get a ton of fingerprints on it. it smells like hairspray. It doesn't smell like vanilla, which I was really hoping with that ingredient, planifola, that it would smell like vanilla, but that smells like aquanut. Okay. And now I will scoot you closer and we will slap on a nice layer of this $135 foundation. So I am currently on the Chanel website trying to find out more information about this product. It does say that it is an exquisite lightweight foundation. It has the ultimate sensorial touch. It's a creamy texture and it is a buildable light to medium foundation. So this is not gonna be full coverage. This is more your skin but better, even things out, make the skin look really pretty kind of a thing. This is in the shade Beige 32 and we're just gonna hope that this matches. I'm actually just gonna take product from the lid because I'm that person that wants to use like every little bit of my product. So I'm gonna start out by just grabbing on the brush like this, and I'm going to go in in circular motions and pray that this works out. That's a really nice color, actually. Why does this smell like hairspray? I don't think there's SPF in here, but it is almost doing that weird thing where, like, you know when you put on a foundation with SPF, it almost buffs a little bit lighter? That's kind of what it's doing, it's really weird. I don't know why I decided to put this on my eyelid. I just, I, we're just doing it. I like it. I actually really like this. I like the way it feels right now. This is step one. You guys know there are many different layers to how I try out product. I wanna see how other products sit on top of it, how it wears, all of that. But just putting it on the skin, it feels so fresh and lightweight and like it's giving me a decent amount of coverage while still being a light, more natural type of a product. I am curious to try this with my Clarisonic, so I'm gonna just kind of dot this on the other side of my face. Dot, 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 dot. dot. It 
This has made my skin look better than it actually is, but not completely masked. Like I kind of, I mean, I obviously look like I'm wearing foundation, but not like caked on thick. Like it's not a whole full makeup, full coverage type of a thing. Like imperfections are still showing through, but my skin looks like the quality of it is really improved. So I love that. I did not think I would like this so much because usually glowy type foundations almost look shiny on the skin and this just looks really healthy and fresh and natural. So the next thing to do is see how other products layer on top of it. So I'm gonna finish up my makeup and I will be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and say that I did not think that I would like this so much. A, it is not full coverage. B, it is a glowing foundation, which the glow is more like hey, let's make you look like you have perfect, naturally balanced, incredible skin. So I am in love with this right now and I'm so weirded out that I've been wearing this actually for a little bit over an hour, maybe like an hour and a half because I finished my makeup, I went and I did some other things and then I'm just sitting back down now and I'm looking in the mirror and I didn't have to like powder or touch up or do anything with the shine, which has been such a huge issue for me recently. You guys know when you watch my videos and I do my outings, my face is usually just like an oil slick. So what is the deal? That happens when I use mattifying foundations and then this is keeping me completely like just, it looks really good. Am I imagining things or does this look really, really good? I do feel like maybe I could have gotten a shade darker. That's the only thing. I think maybe there's a tiny bit of a shade issue. You know what? We are just gonna see how this wears. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh my God, I'm so baffled for like the next 10 minutes, even though I kind of am um, because I'm really picky with foundation, but I like it so far. So I will check back in in a little bit with you guys. We will see how long it takes for this to kind of get oil because we know what's gonna happen. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Can I just go ahead and say that I am completely and totally perplexed as to why a glowing foundation is keeping me more oil controlled than some of my matte foundations. It is the weirdest thing, you guys. I have had this on for hours and my skin looks incredible today. I don't understand. There is your extreme super close up. Now, normally, I know I'm a little bit shiny. We got some serious highlight going on. I get it, I know that. But it is just making my skin behave. I don't feel like my skin is uncomfortable at all or cakey. It is just, it's doing great. Other products blended beautifully on top. Nothing inappropriately grabbed at my dry patches and I have a lot of them right now. So I am so impressed. It is, it's 631 right now. Ignore how messy my table is. Oh my gosh. Thank God I put stuff down because look at the disaster that I create while filming. Okay, this business is coming up tomorrow. New Maybelline stuff, some of it is free. But what is really wowing me at the moment is this foundation. Let's like get back to that moment because I'm gonna wear it again tomorrow. I'm gonna pack it with me for the weekend. I'm gonna rub it all over my body. Um, no, I'm not. It's really expensive. Puka, come. Puka, come. Come here. Puka, come here. God damn. I love those sexy shoes. They just turn me on so much. You have no idea. Oh, dang. Look at those Crocs. They're Hi. pool shoes. Leave me Hi. alone. I like that lipstick a lot. This is the kind of red that you had attempted to buy in the Husband Buys My Makeup, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is the kind of red that James enjoys. Um, but that's not what you're testing today, right? No, it's not. I'm testing foundation. And you guys, I'm still not crazy shiny, which is blowing my mind. I think that's going to be like the one thing that I say throughout this whole check-in period i mean i'm rocking some serious highlight but there's no no heavy greasiness so thumbs up for that things are still looking good i will do another check-in dotsie wants to go to urban outfitters still hot how's my foundation you know your makeup's really pretty i like it i've been eating food so i'm sure the red lipstick is all over the place but i'm not shiny hey maybe kind of a little no You're not really your, found, your foundation looks nice. Thank you. I'm on a mission for hoodies because I'm always cold and I keep seeing people get really, really cute ones here. So. Hello. 
You guys, it is around 11 o'clock at night. My makeup is doing exceptionally well for how long I have had it on my face. Now, yes, I could use a hairbrush. I'm freezing back here in the beauty room and everything else is kind of falling apart. This is $135. I don't think you should spend this much money on foundation, but if you did, you would not be disappointed. And I have tried, you know, $200 foundations from Giorgio Armani, from Sisley that I have not loved that left too much grease on my face when I wanted it to be what this product is. So as far as a light foundation in a jar that gives you medium coverage that feels just very good on the skin and keeps your skin looking really balanced and fresh looking, I think this is one of the best higher end crazy price tagged foundations that I have ever tried out. Let me know, am I bananas or was this just like a really good skin day? Leave it below in the comments. Feel free to tell me what you think. I don't care. I mean, sometimes you guys are like, you're too nice to the high-end brands. And guess what? No, I'm not. I really have no problem if something doesn't work out saying, mm, save your money. I didn't think I like it so much. I'm so sorry. I like it better than any of the Tom Ford foundations that I have tried out, which were really good. This is just so fresh and lightweight. I think it's perfect for summer. I'm really excited about it. All right, so there we have it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you did enjoy this WTF video, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Mwah.